Hey guys, it's Zane, and uh, today I want to make a, I guess, relatively quick analysis video of this guy right here. His name is Wilco de Cray. Um, so I first got told about this guy from a friend of mine called Kwame. Uh, shout out to Kwame if you're watching this. Uh, pretty much he just kind of forwarded me on this, this Facebook ad, and at first I saw this guy, and I just thought, you know, who is this? evil hamster trying to sell me something which is I guess the um, <laughs> the impression most people have when you know I guess that this sort of like a uh, guru type ad comes up but um, after I guess watching some of the ad I just thought man like this is really compelling and the way that he's saying things and, and the structure of his ad is actually really really compelling so I kind of gave it a second look and I did a little bit of research and kind of dived into who the hell is this Wilco guy. Uh, turns out that he actually works with some of the bigger names that you might actually know, like uh, Frank Kern um, and then Russell Brunson from ClickFunnels. And I consider Russell Brunson to be one of the um, one of the best marketers in the world. And I think most people who understand marketing will will agree with that. Uh, you know, he's grown uh, grown ClickFunnels to the huge size that it is right now. Uh, and it turns out Wilco actually works exclusively with them. Uh, he's also a founder of this company called UpViral, which is all about uh, creating viral loops and viral quizzes. So he's a software, he's a founder, um, a software founder. He's worked with you know, some of the biggest names and I just thought, okay, cool. So then I kind of went through his funnel. I, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna watch the entire ad. I'm gonna check out the page, everything bit by bit, uh, just so I can see exactly what this guy's doing, because the ad's obviously working really well. Um, so what I wanna do in this video, I guess, is kind of go through everything uh, with you. I've had a little bit of a look already, but I wanna give it kind of a, a fresh pair of eyes, and uh, I wanna break down exactly what he's doing. So why would we wanna do that? Well, if you, you know, if you guys, if you have one good funnel built for your business, then you know that that's capable of producing you in excess of a million dollars so it, it's a big part of of your business that you need to master and you need to kind of refine and one of the best ways to do that is to look at what the best in the world are doing and if we do that then we can take little bits and pieces and model it and put it into our business and into our funnel and then improve it and then basically, um, we've got ourselves a really powerful business if we can do that. So, so yeah, come uh, through this video with me and watch it until the end. And I'll show you exactly, I guess, my perspective as, as a marketer, as someone who builds uh, seven-figure funnels every single day, my unique perspective on it. And then you can take bits and bobs and apply it to your business of what, exactly what Wilco is doing, because trust me, he does a really, really good job. And that's coming from someone you know who does this every single day and I'm also going to show you how you can actually copy exactly what he's doing copy his pages and his funnel and uh, apply it directly to your business instantly so watch until uh, the end and I'll go through all of that but let's let's just dive into it right now um, starting with the ad so Immediately, I guess we're just going to break down a few key things of this ad. Um, In 2000, I'm going to go from the very beginning. So at the very beginning, what he does is he starts off uh, a conversation type of a little video, you know, that looks like it's on WhatsApp. What is viral hacking? So, it's a new growth strategy that I'm going to show you in this as, video and teach you for free um, on my upcoming trade. As he's typing, then he's speaking behind it. And so you kind of get this dual- Based on the same strategy <coughs> used by companies like Dropbox, Uber, and Airbnb, Airbnb to make sure people can't resist talking about their site. Okay. And I'm gonna show you- so basically, right, it's a, a WhatsApp sort of uh, chat. And the reason why people would be interested in that is because, uh, well, it, it looks like someone's having a conversation, right? And we want to eavesdrop in on a conversation. So it sparks our intrigue, and that's exactly what ads are supposed to do. Initially, they're supposed to spark our intrigue. 
And so that's the very first thing. Remember, we only have like three seconds to capture someone uh, as they're scrolling through Facebook. So it is an interruptive channel. And the more we can spark intrigue and get them to stop and read what the hell is going on or watch what the hell is going on uh, on the ad, then the better. Like that first three seconds is actually pretty critical because it can improve the effectiveness of your ads, you know, 5%, 10%, 20%, right? Because more people are going to be seeing them. So he's captured the attention off the very beginning uh, and it perfectly aligns to what he's saying. So I love this bit. On my upcoming training session, you'll find the link just above. I'm going to show box Uber and Airbnb to make sure people can't resist. And now it goes to him, which is, you know, this guy with like a whiteboard in the back. So I guess talking about their side and I'm going to show you. So I guess, um, you know, you'd, you'd understand intuitively that it is training. And at the, at the top, don't use old list building strategies. I don't know about that copy. Um, I, I guess it really works for him. He's like, he's probably tested it. He's probably looking for business owners who want to build their list, right? And it makes sense because the product that he has is called Upviral, where, where people refer their friends uh, through email and, and through, through social. So don't use old list, list building strategies. And he's got all these emojis on underneath. Um, and then pretty much like these have nothing to do with what, what he sells or what he does or anything, right? It's just crying face, surprise face. Uh, and it's, it's there to kind of, once again, attract intrigue. And so he's talking and what he does is he goes through a, a tailored process. He says very specific things. I want to just let this ad play and then um, I'll probably pause it through particular periods to show you or explain exactly what he's done. You, how you can leverage this to grow your people can't resist talking about their site. And I'm going to show you how you can leverage this to grow your business using word of mouth in a way you've never seen before. My name is Wilco de Cry, and over the last 15 years as an online entrepreneur, I've leveraged quite a few different traffic strategies. And the one that always intrigued me the most is viral marketing. <laughs> Not the kind of viral marketing that you'd expect or anything like that. Instead, so that bit right I've there. I've that always intrigued He starts kind of like explaining, he, he, he talks about the benefit to begin with. Is like, do you want to use the same sort of strategies that Uber did, that, um, you know, all these kind of viral marketing or growth marketing kind of businesses did the famous ones and then once he kind of has that hook and says you know do you want to use this to grow your business he starts telling a story and you know through that story he's like you know i i kind of did this i wanted to grow my list it kind of goes through the full process in the ad but what i find is really funny is uh you know it's it's crazy how like um meticulous this guy's movements are even so he, he's the way that as a marketer how he strikes me is someone who's really practiced this a lot um so check this me out. the most is viral marketing <laughs> not the kind of viral marketing that you'd expect so what intrigues me the most is viral marketing ha huh. not the type of my like even that movement right there like he's got this down to a science it's a, it's a goddamn pitch right it doesn't involve any viral videos or anything like that instead i've been focusing on a viral strategy that makes it irresistible for people to talk about your site or your business and it's actually kind of cool the first time i tried this out was back in 2011 and at that point my only traffic source just got shit hmm. what is viral so we can find that my story. very first viral lagging experiment so here's what i did is what I, I created an opt-in page where people could enter their email address in order to get a lead magnet I created. And on the thank you page, I then installed a share to get plugin. So people could actually, uh, people had to share a message on Facebook in order to download a second lead magnet that I also created. Now, yeah, so think, like, if we look at the, the words he's using, he's using a lead magnet. So he's really speaking to I guess business owners who are at least a little bit cluey, who know that they need marketing, or who understand marketing, right? Who know how, how to create lead magnets. Even though this got me a couple hundred shares and a couple thousand email subscribers, I, feel, I still felt 
that I wasn't getting the results uh, uh, I wanted, but it definitely started to grab my interest. And I then realized that Dropbox had already figured out the most brilliant way to do this. They didn't just ask people to share, but they also gave every user their own unique invite link. And every single time one of their friends would sign up through their invite link, they would get extra storage in their Dropbox account. In other words, they would get something of value in return of, of if they would get their friends to sign up as well. And this unique invite link made all the difference. I mean, if you've heard about Dropbox from a friend, then you already know this works. In fact, do me a favor, and if, if you've heard about Dropbox from a friend, then type in this works down below in the comments. I'd really... <laughs> this is really funny. So he's kind of uh, explaining the the process now, that how you would get a viral loop or how you would virally grow your business. You'd offer something of high value originally to get them on board, and then you'd double the value if they referred, you know, uh, X amount of friends. In this example, he's going to say referred five friends, right? I think five is quite a bit, but if you said, you know, if they, if you can refer what, at least one person or probably three, um, that that's typically what most businesses do. Uh, it depends, though, right? Like, because you can offer a tremendous amount of value if they if they refer five. So you're asking for something, and then you're kind of asking for for. Uh, you're going to give value in return, right? You're asking for something and then you're going to give value in return. And how much you can ask for is directly proportionate to the amount of value that you can give. So I'm just going to open um, GIMP so I can have a whiteboard open if I need to explain any of these bits uh, for you. So anyway, um, we're just going to go new... And then I'm just gonna, yeah, easy. Okay. Um, yeah, so he's kind of saying, look, you, you gotta give some something of value to get them to refer their friends. And what's really funny is like, you know, if you've been referred to Dropbox by someone, which a lot of people have, especially a lot of marketers, um, or if you've, you know, seen this work in the past, type in the comments, this works. Now imagine a new person seeing this ad, right? They're gonna be like, oh my God, everyone in the comments is saying this works and they have no context for what this is. So they think that what he's saying works. It's just gonna, even this in itself is its own little viral loop that you can definitely use. Oh, and by the way, we always wanna have um, subtitles in our ads or captions. So I'm gonna actually see if anyone wrote this works. There's 2,300 comments. Okay, I don't see many people saying this works, but I've got the strong suspicion that if we scroll down far enough, there's, there's gonna be like at least, you know, 10, 15% of the audience saying that this works. So it's just a lot of tagging right now, which is good. Yeah, cool. I'm sure if we scroll down far enough, people will say, you know, this works. So if we resume this really, video. Really appreciate that. So anyway, after I saw what Dropbox did, I wanted to test it out as well. So I created a new opt-in page. And once they would enter their email address, I then gave them an incentive to share along with their own unique invite link. And this invite link pointed back to the opt-in page. So I gave them their own unique invite link to share along with their own unique invite link. And from this point onwards, things went nuts because people started sharing their links everywhere they could, on forums, on blog posts, on Facebook, on LinkedIn, on Twitter, everywhere. And those people that then clicked on the link, guess what? They did the same thing over and over again, which resulted in more than 130,000 unique vis visitors for a brand new site. And that's what I call a viral loop, which is... So that's pretty cool, right? It's, it's this explanation where it's a really sort of simple model, right? But people love models because it helps them understand. And he's drawn it uh, on the board and kind of explain what a viral loop is. It's just two things, right? And then it just kind of loops in. And it doesn't take a genius to understand that. So it's gonna to appeal to a really wide audience at any level.
as long as they're cluey and they understand what uh, the basics of marketing are, then they know that they need to market their business. So he's explained it really well. Uh, well. He's defined what a viral loop is. The next thing he's gonna do is uh, offer people to join his training. One of the fundamentals of viral hacking, and over the past few years, I've been perfecting this viral hacking strategy. I've been using it over and over again, and I learned a ton of lessons along the way, which I wanna share with you on this training session as well. So just recently, I, apply, I applied this on a highly competitive niche, and I was able to build up a responsive email list of over six. By the way, notice all the proof. Like the proof is upfront in the ad. Um, there's, you can do proof in a few different ways. You can do it like, uh, like this, like screenshots, behind the scenes type stuff. And I find this to be the most powerful if you can do it, if you can do it this way. Another way to do it would be um, through case studies. So to, to have people like, he could be like, you know, I applied it to Amanda's business and this is what she said uh, as an example. But this is more powerful than that. Um, and there's a few other ways, just kind of like behind the scenes, just with footage, right, showing how it's done, showing how he built the thing. That's another way that you could uh, apply some sort of proof or credibility to dispel skepticism. So at this point is really the point when I watched this ad where I started to just drop my skepticism because, you know, there's the straight up proof. There's, there's figures on the screen. 16,000 subscribers, but in the first 30 days using viral hacking. And I'll show you exactly what it did, including the URL itself, so you can check it out for yourself as well. So all you need to do is sign up for this training session. And recently, I also saw Tim Ferriss on the uh, four hour work week write about how they used the strategy to get over 100,000 email subscribers in a single week. And it's I love it because he's using the authority of other people uh, in, in his pitch, right? So Tim Ferriss did this as well. This is like, uh, you know, building on authority. If they don't know who he is, then they might know who Tim Ferriss is from the four hour work week. And the fact that he used this is a, you know, a good sign that you should too. Plenty more similar case studies out there. And this doesn't require any authority or existing traffic to begin with. For example, I showed this to a guy called Matthew Longley and he implemented this and within the first 30 days. He so he says this doesn't require any authority to begin with. And it's, it's so smart because every bit that he says, he just immediately thinks, what would the person, uh, what would the objection of the person be? So, you know, he shows Tim Ferriss and he's like, you know, Tim Ferriss did this, but don't worry, like it doesn't require any authority to do it yourself. Um, and some people might think that, like now he's starting to handle objections, right? Like I don't already have a, a, a wide following, so what can I really offer to get people to share this thing? Only people with authority could do that. Um, that's probably an, a common objection that people have, and he's just completely crushing and handling those right now. He added over 114,000 email subscribers to his email list, and that's just one of the many examples. And on the training call, I'm gonna show you everything I've learned at no cost. So you get all the best practices, you get, uh, you get to see how to make this work in every market, it doesn't matter whether it's B2B or B2C, how to implement this into any opt-in form on your website. And just so now he's, um, he's basically ramping up the value of the offer. He's like, okay, it's free. So just so you know, you, you have nothing to lose. And no matter what industry you're in, B2B or B2C, this is gonna work for you. Um, you can put it on any one of your sites. It's really easy to do, right? So hitting all those three points. Just a few minutes, how to make sure people want to share your site uh, with their friends and a whole lot more. And I'm just about to finish up the training slides and I'm actually pretty sure it's gonna be the best training I've ever put together. And the reason why I wanna teach you this strategy is because so far, this has only been possible for the big guys like Dropbox, Uber, and Airbnb. And I wanna show you how people like you and I can leverage this as well to grow our business by taking word of mouth around our business to the next level. So click. So he's kind of um, saying it's me and you now. He's kind of drawing similarity between himself and the viewer. He's saying, we're not Dropbox, we're not uh, the big guys. We are the small guys who are using this strategy, um, you know, to grow our businesses and we can. So he's picking a fight, he's, he's taking a stance, he's drawing similarity. Click on the link right now and save your seat. And in order to bribe you to be there, 
I'm going to do something crazy. When you sign up right now and you show up during the call, I'm going to give you our unreleased software for free. And all you need to do is be there on the trading session. We'll ha we haven't even started selling this tool. Okay. And then there's the bonus for um for attending. <laughs> and I love the um the fact like because you because you're here, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something crazy, in the way he says that. Um, but anyway, like if you attend the call, you get the uh, the free bonus. And so attaching a bonus is just like, again, ramping up the value. Uh, all those things combined, plus the CTA look, go ahead and click on the call at the end, um, is gonna lead people, I think, really effectively. Like it's gonna get a lot of clicks. And you can see it already, like there's a lot of shares. Like it's rare that you see uh, an ad go this viral. So he's either put a lot of money behind it, which he probably has, uh, and that you know for good reason because it's working um or he's just done a really damn good job and he's getting a lot of engagement i think honestly i think it's probably at the combination of of the two so once people see this ad oh, let's have a quick look at the copy as well so he says uh so i went into spy mode on uber airbnb and dropbox and discovered something everyone should know that's it. It's their number one traffic strategy that hardly anyone uses besides them. So he's talking about Uber, Airbnb, and Dropbox. Um, I guess people who are entrepreneurs would probably know those uh, businesses. And it's it's an uh, interesting sort of first line to use. I like the fact that he went with spy mode um, because once again, the entire thing, it has elements of behind the scenes. It has elements of you're peeking into a hidden strategy. It has elements of, um, you know, this is supposed to be a secret. And it's, it's, it's really powerful. You know, a lot of the, the best marketers in the world use these core elements because they excite curiosity. And if you can excite curiosity and intrigue and uh, pull on that, plus attach it to a solution to a pain point or a problem, then, um, the, the end result is you just get people to act, you get people to do stuff. So there's this fascination with what's the secret system? What, what's, the, um, what's the thing that I'm missing? What, what's the uh, tool or the hack or the, the process that I can take uh, and apply and, and get real growth in my business, right? Or get viral growth or get uh, you know, a huge surge of growth. And so he's using a lot of those elements really well. Um, it's what's helped them grow to 4 million customers in 15 months, 3,900% growth, which is crazy, right? So once I saw this, I started experimenting as well. It kind of goes through a story. Viral hacking is what I call it. In a nutshell, it's basically this. Um, it's currently his main list building strategy. He just recently applied it to a competitive niche and gathered 16,000. Like, so it's all proof at this point. Uh, it's not dependent on any of the usual traffic sources so curiosity he's getting leads from day one um, and he's multiplying those leads with the same amount of traffic so then over here really at the bottom uh, is when he mentions the actual workshop this entire first bit of his copy is all to just build intrigue it's all to build um, Oh no, he talks about the, the, the uh, strategy here. So he's got two CTAs, right? One in the middle and the one on the bottom. This is intrigue um, and then the CTA. And then it's like some proof and uh, some dispelling of uh, skepticism and then another CTA. Oh, there's also the bonus attached here. And then again, the CTA. So that's his process. Intrigue. Um, what it is, CTA, and then sort of like proof, uh, bonus here, CTA. So that's the ad. I thought it was pretty damn compelling. Um, you can see there's also put the link in some of the comments whenever anyone's asked. But if we scroll down, the link isn't everywhere. It's in quite a few places. But there's enough comments going on as well, so it doesn't look like he's just spamming every single comment with the link. So the link's everywhere. People know where to find it, which is good. Now, when they click here, they go to this page. I'm going to refresh so we can see what it looks like from scratch. 
Okay, so we're on the page. Uh, at the very top, there's a pre-headline. It says exclusive workshop, free to attend. So what it is, it's a workshop, it's for training and it's free to attend. The step-by-step -step formula to build your list and audience from scratch using viral hacking. He's explained what viral hacking is on the ad. And so people coming in have some context. Also the word viral hacking is like, um, it, it's kind of like, in and of itself generating quite a bit of curiosity. I find it maybe slightly uh, cheesy, but there's definitely quite a few people who, you know, would have been sold on the idea of viral hacking beforehand. And to be honest, once he's kind of gone through that pitch on the ad, um, so am I, you know, like, I'm curious exactly what the hell he means by, by viral hacking. And then yes, claim my spot now, big orange CTA, when the training starts, it looks like he's running these trainings on 50 minute rotation on autopilot, um, which is cool. And then there's when it is uh, exactly, and I guess this changes as well. Yeah, so, you know, it automatically changes presented by him. So they've just seen him. This, it, it looks clean, right? This is the above the fold CTA. Everyone sees this. And to me, it looks pretty clean. It looks like uh, it's well made, right? And then underneath that is you start looking at, uh, it's just long form copy. If I'm just gonna go through the page, just copy, copy, copy until at the end you got another CTA. So if we look at the copy, um, here's one thing that I've learned as an online entrepreneur. So who, he, who he's speaking to, right? Uh, other online entrepreneurs and then without traffic you don't have a business and that's true it's like a big claim a statement that everyone can agree with that's why he spent 15 years mastering traffic and he's helped all these people and this is where i saw it i'm like okay you know there's frank kern there's russell brunson there's a whole bunch of other um you know, really well-known marketers but you probably know these two the most uh and like no no this isn't one of those overnight success stories it's far from it so he's kind of dispelling skepticism He's got a GIF on his page. I use GIFs on my page as well. And I think they're really powerful because when you write long form copy like this, you need to you need to break it up, right? So you need to maintain intrigue the entire way through. And notice how his copy is written. It's like a chunk of, of text, photos. A chunk of text, GIF. And each bit is taking them through a specific sort of process, right? Each bit is like, for example, this is proof. This is, I remember Googling how to tra get traffic to my site. And he's put in the, um, the gif of how to, of himself Googling that, right? So it's adding a visual to the story. Over here, what this entire thing is, it's just a story that goes through very specific key points. Nothing seemed to work, I kept trying. Uh, which worked for a while, but then back to zero, back to zero round two, I had to do things differently. So he goes through this and he's kind of explaining uh, maybe the struggle of people who have tried to get traffic to their site, tried a few different things and, you know, ha had it kind of only be a short term solution. Um, you know, it's like in 2007, it was only a short term solution. And in 2009, I tried again, it went back down to zero. So no matter what, he, he couldn't find consistency. And really that, that's what he's selling here, selling consistency. Then once again, you break up your long copy with new headlines. And the headlines themselves are designed to be intriguing. So I needed a traffic strategy that cannot be shut down. So once again, consistency. People might read, like people might just kind of like, whoa, that's a lot of text, you know, kind of scroll through. I need the traffic strategy that cannot be shut down. Like th these sorts of bits stand out. And so they, they might think, you know, I want a traffic strategy that can't be shut down. And then no more being dependent. So it's kind of like, you know, you will finally have control, some proof, 16,435 email subscribers um, within 30 days, right? And over here, he's got viral hacking was the solution. It's what he called it. It's the discovery that he made. The experiment exploded. At first, I thought, hey, I got lucky. Uh, so I tested it again. What was the result? Boom. This, right? And it flows. 
But if they're scrolling down and you start seeing numbers, especially numbers, uh, you're more likely to stop, right? And be like, what the hell is this? What's going on? So he's meticulously placed this at this point. And you can see that on the beginning, he's had to use less text so people can just start the process. It's almost like a snowball rolling down a hill. That's what a good long form sales letter is, right? So little bits of copy, you're intrigued at this point. You're like, what the hell is that? It's a GIF. Now the copy gets longer and each little bit is like, okay, now the snowball is, is rolling, right? Holy smokes. And the best of all, like point, point, point. It, getting, getting across a message without writing forever. You know, th that's an art in and of itself when it comes to copywriting. So he's put points over here, right? With emojis. There's a, there's a lot of emojis and it, it, it feels like a, a message, right? It feels like a, a message you might get, uh, you know, from a friend almost, right? Because there's a lot of emojis. Uh, the traffic source cannot, I repeat, cannot be taken down, right? So it's reliable. It's generating high quality leads right now. It works in any type of market or niche. So here we are once again, handling objections, B2C and B2B. That's why I fell in love, love heart. This works unlike anything I've seen, and I've seen a lot. So um, the old way versus the new way, uh, side by side, good strategy to include in copy right there. Um, and then here, we're handling more objections. If this is that good, why doesn't everyone do this? Quite frankly, because not many people know about this strategy, right? So that's a common objection. That's why it's the number one traffic uh, and growth strategy from multiple Inc. 500 companies. So he's like, once again, building on their authority. Every time I share this with my clients, it works like clockwork. Um, one lead per second. This is insane, right? Which is a little screenshot of, of a conversation that's happened right now, uh, you know, between him and a client. Once again, the three points, uh, three different people grew their leads about that much. And it's also given credibility by the, the testimonial right above. Um, on the training, what he's going to show you. Here's what people said last time I held this training session, the email back. So this is like really kind of selling the training specifically. Uh, and then the bonus, right? You'll get access to the, to the software to actually do this for your business. It's going to be really easy as well. So the custom built tool, all you need to show up, uh, all you need to do is show up for the training. And then like the typical guru would charge at least 297 to 497 for this and it'd still be cheap, right? Um, so he's kind of adding a value to the training and saying the typical guru in quotations. So saying that he's not the typical guru, right? By, by calling out someone for something, you kind of say that you're not that thing. And he's like, uh, after you say something like this, you probably think, oh, then why aren't you, why aren't you charging for it? And over here is like that. The reason why is because it's not the sort of relationship I want to start. So he's even handled objections after he makes every big claim, because whenever you make a big claim, basically what you get is you get someone to say it's a call bullshit on you. Like you could say this will generate you this much and they'll be like bullshit. And you're like, okay, well here's proof. And then once you've substantiated, and show them that, well, hold on, it actually, it could be real, then what you do is you eliminate that objection every single time. And so that's a key strategy uh, when it comes to copy. Then over here, you've got, join this free training session, no catch, yes, reserve my seat. Uh, and it's starting in two minutes, right? I'll see you on the training, Wilco, PS, for those who skip to the end, because some people do, don't worry, here's the deal. And he kind of explains it in a short little bit. And he's like, it's only 497 to attend. Just kidding, it's 100% free. I thought that was pretty, uh, pretty cool. It's a no brainer. And then on the bottom, uh, disclaimer, right? And then there's like about the tool and about the training. So once again, just reiterates exactly what it is in the footer itself. In even in the disclaimer, he's still selling, right? So when you click this, what happens? Okay, so the, the webinar loads when it is, uh, you know, time, name, email is populated, register now. 
Uh, I'm going to do that. This is Webinar Jam, by the way, if, you, if you're wondering what software it is. And then you go to a waiting room. And in the waiting room, you've got the video is kind of welcoming you. You've got when it is uh, and your webinar link. So he can just say, you know, click below to join the webinar, right? Hey, it's Milka Karai here and thanks for registering for the Viral Hacking Webinar. You made an awesome decision and I can't wait to see you on the webinar and share all this information with you so, you so that you can apply it and really use it to get a massive audience onto your email list to grow your business as well. Now right now, I got three very important things that you need to remember so that you can show up to the webinar and actually get a seat. First of all, make sure to block out roughly two hours for the webinar in your calendar. So next to this video uh, on the right hand side, you should see a link to get a calendar reminder. So if you click there, you can easily add it to your calendar right away. It's very important that you, that you block out two, the full two hours uh, because this webinar is actually quite long. This isn't like any other webinar just thrown together last minute. It took me years and years of trial, error and testing to learn all of this. And I put it all together in a condensed format in a way that I believe it's going to help you best to get a massive result as well and second thing uh, that's really important is to show up early because as you probably know with these type of uh, webinar tools yeah so what he's done is like thank them for signing up for the webinar then he's like here's what you need to do to attend and actually get a seat so he's like he's adding a little bit of scarcity uh, to it he's, he's basically saying you know you might not even get a seat uh, and then he's differentiating this webinar from every other webinar that people might have attended because if people are cluey, if they understand marketing, they, they would end up here and it's like, okay, you know, it's, it's another automated webinar, right? I'm going to be sold something. But he's adding value to the webinar saying, look, I didn't just throw this together last minute. I'm actually going to give you my best stuff, my best training. They only allow for a certain amount of people to join the webinar. So just recently, I forgot to inform people about that, which, as you can see right now, resulted in a ton of emails from all kinds of people who missed out on the training. And I don't want that to happen to you. Yeah, so that's cool. He's like actually substantiating people who missed out on the training, right? Um, so whenever someone makes a claim, like the, what he's really damn good at is handling objections. And, and dispelling skepticism. We're gonna finish watching uh, this video. And I'm not gonna actually go through the webinar itself because it's two hours, right? Um, I'm gonna watch it. And I'll probably make another video explaining what it is if you guys want, uh, because actually running the presentation itself is, is a completely different sort of strategy. We're, right now, we're just looking at his sequence, at his funnel. So let's finish watching this uh, and I'll continue to kind of give my take uh, on it and wrap up. That's why I recommend showing up at least roughly five minutes early uh, so your seat is secured and you won't miss out. Now the third and final thing is to show up on a desktop computer or a laptop computer. So in case you're currently on a desktop or a laptop, awesome, use that to join the webinar. But in case you're currently signed up using a mobile device, please join from your desktop or laptop instead. So what device to join on? Um, you know, that, that's pretty key and pretty important because it's, it's proven that when people um, when people watch webinars from their laptops or from their computers, they're just more likely to convert. So having this page, this sort of waiting room to get to get people prepared and ready is a really good strategy that I like to use because but another thing that you can do is you can put a pixel on this page and actually optimize for um, you know registrations and conversions. So you have to have a, a page like this. You have to have a thank you page and you have to have well you don't have to, but it's really good to have this warm-up video. When it comes to the pages and everything, I want to show you really soon how you can copy his exact sequence, his exact funnel. So let's finish this video. So by now you just have, uh, you should have just received an email from me with a link to the webinar. So all you need to do uh, is open that uh, open that email using your desktop or, or laptop and click on the link right there. And the reason for all of this is because the webinar system it doesn't work well on mobile. It seems that there, uh, people are always messaging me that they're being kicked out and all of that. And even if it would work, would work, I don't think watching a two-hour training session is pleasant to watch on a mobile device. But that could just be me. So to sort of summarize, block out two hours. Uh, in your calendar for the webinar. Uh, secondly, show up early, get there probably five minutes early so you can uh, assure you get a seat. And thirdly, use a desktop or a laptop, not your mobile device.
And if you do all these things, you've got nothing to worry about. You're going to be able to attend the webinar and you're going to be able to get the full experience and the full value out of it. So once again, on the webinar, I'm going to show you how to get a ton of traffic and build up a large audience onto your email list without any of the usual traffic sources, right? It's been my number one list building strategy for years and years now. And to be clear, this isn't some kind of quick hack or anything like that. It's a, it's a proven strategy that's working extremely well and not just for me, but for many other who have shared this with also. So for example, I showed this to a friend of mine called Joe and he collected over 230,000 email subscribers. So this is more proof and more, more um, credibility at the end. Uh, and yeah, it kind of once again differentiates the webinar from other webinars that they might have been on. It's not just a, a, a hack. It's, it's an actual proven strategy. Cyrus, using this strategy, and Matthew collected more than 114,000 leads, while Troy collected over 208,000 leads, all in the first month of trying this out. Now, I'm not saying that these numbers are typical, but it definitely shows how powerful the strategy really is. And to make it even better, I'm going to give you our custom build tool that my team and I created in-house, and you get it, you're going to get it for free if you join me on the trade. So build this tool. So once again, the bonus is going to talk about the tool a little bit. Uh, it's going to be like. Oh, look at that that position right there. It's like, you need to be on this webinar. A couple, couple of minutes or so, so those who are paying attention uh, will have time to write the link down so you, you know where to get access to it. And you're going to get that. Where to get access, it's right here, right? And then you just click on this and uh, you'd end up inside the webinar. So let me show you how to actually copy his entire sequence, right? Um, this is a tool right now that I use. It's called Convertry. I'm just going to create a new funnel. I'm going to call it uh, Wilco. Wilco funnel, and then attach it to a domain. And boom, we've got a funnel folder. Now I'm going to show you how to copy these exact sort of pages. Let's say that uh, I really like his webinar page. I can just go import page. Hit uh, put the link in there, click confirm, and call this landing page, a long copy, and then import. Now, to do this, you're not allowed to actually publish the exact same page that Wilco uses, because th that's copyright, right? But you can copy the sequence of things, and you can edit it and make it completely your own. And then that that is okay because as you put it here and as you put it you know into your own domain then it uh and as you edit it it's yours right you just have to make sure that you're not using any of his content but that's convertry right the cool the cool thing about this tool is you can actually import any url from any website on the internet and you can funnel hack the best marketers in the world in a matter of seconds so it's just finishing up adding all the images, 22 out of 22. Uh, it's taking a little bit longer than usual. Usually like this only takes about 10 seconds, but maybe there's something long about his funnel. looks like it's finished up right now. So if I go to edit page, what you're gonna find is, you know, despite the page being long and everything, we should have the exact page that he uses. With the pre-headline, the headline, the button, all the copy, and you know which you could use as a um, a benchmark, a framework for your landing page and your webinar. So that's that. That's the long copy style page, completely converted into Convertry in really about twenty seconds. So then you can go in there and you can start editing and actually using the same sort of strategies that Wilco is using for your business. Once again, I am not liable if you, you know, get screwed up for copyright. This is not let's, uh, let's completely copy people. This is let's take the framework of what they've done. Let's edit it and let's use it as inspiration so we can apply it to our businesses and create something that's unique to us, right? That's what Convertry does. So, you know, once he's signed up, 
let's see if I can copy this page too. It's a uh, events.gendi, which I think is Webinar Jam. Um, yeah, it is, it's Webinar Jam. So it might not import because it's not a public sort of URL, but it might. And actually, uh, more often than not, like 95% of the time, pages do import. Um, so this is really the holding page for the webinar. We can try that too. It's actually very likely this is going to import, yeah, really quickly too. So this is a simple page, and now you've got a, a holding page. So really, in just a few moments, we've created, I don't think we need. Oh, cool, so we've got an import box already created for us too. Let's get rid of that. This is the holding page. It's exactly that, right? So you've got the exact funnel, uh, the exact two steps that he's used. Uh, let's quick, let's click save on that. I'm gonna show you how to connect them, how easy it is on Convertry. Such a good tool. And then like that, boom, done. This page now leads to that page. And then you've got his two-step exact process. Uh, and that's it, really. So that's Convertry. It's a really, really powerful tool. Um, look, if you'd like to get Convertry and use it for your business, then um, go to this link. It's just zane at zanebasic.com forward slash Convertry. I'm actually partnered up with them. Um, and then what you can do is, if you want, you can get it for 40% off, and that's 40% off for life. So, um, you know, as a contrast for using ClickFunnels or something right now, that would cost you 97 US dollars a month. With my 40% off link, Convertry, which is usually like 67, will drop down to 37, and you get the pro version with the page importer. So it, it's a really uh, sweet sort of deal. So yeah, that's this link right here. That's the link. Um, yeah, zane at zanebasic.com forward slash convertry. And then you can get the importer if you'd want to do that. But that's it, uh, you know, for this quick little training session. Um, let me know if there's any other marketers that, you know, you follow, you might actually want to me to kind of break down and, uh, you know, break down their process. Because I'm always looking to, to create more good content. And then, um, yeah, if you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like and subscribe because there's going to be a lot more content coming out soon. That's it. See you later.